Hello and welcome to the computer lab. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to set the default program that your Mac uses for opening a known file type. So if that's something you're interested in, please do carry on watching. I'm also going to show at the end of the video how to change your default web browser and also how to change your default mail client on the Mac. Okay, so let's get started. So there are a couple of ways of changing. You can change it to open a specific file. And what do I mean by that? So if I go into one of these files, so I've created two files on my desktop. These are just opening some ones that I've saved in a couple of folders uh, in Finder. So I'm gonna open pictures up. So as I say, what I mean by uh, setting a single file, if I, for example, pick one of these up, um, I'm not gonna pick that one because I've already changed that one. So I'm gonna open this one. And this one will be opening by default uh, in preview so if I double click on the image you can see in the top corner there it opens in preview which is all very good so if I always change this single file so this particular file in itself not the JPEG but the actual so I'm not looking at the actual end of the file extension and the file type I'm just looking at this particular file so I can right click sorry and open with um, and then you can see preview is default and I'm out to open this in affinity photo uh, and even if I go to other and I'm telling it this file that I want to open this specific file um, it's got recommended apps I can go all applications if you think you can find one that um, the Mac hasn't recognized but I'm gonna leave it on recommended for this and I want to always open and you find the um, the app or the program that you want to use click on that and then click on open now what you might get is security uh, alert which you have here so it's telling me this particular file it doesn't like it uh, because of the security uh, settings on my Mac. So the way to get around that is to open your system preferences. I've got mine on the bottom toolbar there. You can go up to the Apple sign and click on system preferences in the top left hand corner. And then if you go into security and privacy, we should have a thing at the bottom alert that says we have tried to open it. And there you go, you can see as I clicked OK, it then brings it up, it was blocked. So I can say open anyway, um, open. Let it go and open it, and it opens it in Affinity Photo. If you notice the um, file number is 3240, so if I go and find that, that particular file now, so now this particular file, not the actual JPEG and file type, it's just this file will open uh, in Affinity all the time. So if I double click on that one, it will always open in. But you notice if I go back to one of the other images, this one here, for example, so I'll double click on that one that one opens in preview. So I haven't actually changed um, what the Mac uses to open at the JPEG. So what do we have to do to do that? So find the file you want. So we'll go on at this JPEG. This is one that is currently opening in preview. So if I go there, open in with preview. So what we need to do, find the file, right click, go down to where it says get info. So I click on get info. We're then presented with this menu and the one that we were looking at for is the one that says open with this in this section here and you can see at the moment it's currently set to preview default now i want to open affinity in affinity photo and i want to change all so what that does it changes anything that is a jpeg uh, and allows it to be opened in affinity in my case yours might be adobe photoshop or some other um, photo editing program so if i click change all what that will do will change all the JPEGs. So they all open in the program that you've selected. So I'm going to click change all. Are you sure you want to change all some of the documents to open with Affinity Photo? So anything ending with the extension JPEG will open in this particular program. So yes, I do. Click on continue. So that's great. So now what we have is all these files. If I double click on that one, they will all open in the folder we have uh, the sorry the program that we have told it to okay so that's great so now we know how to set the default program for the known file extension so and that works with any file type so for example uh, in this document folder i've got two pdfs um, and they currently if i double click they'll open in preview as well so if i want to set that to maybe google chrome or something like that if I want to do the single file, I right click, open with, pick the, the um, program that I want to use, 
or if I want to change all PDFs to open in Google Chrome, what they do is right click, get info, get the info box down, open with, tell it that I want to use Google Chrome, for example. I want to change all, it'll then give me the warning. Are you sure you want to open all in Google Chrome, all PDFs? So this will change and apply to all documents with extension PDF. Click continue. So now what should happen is I double click on, so this PDF here, it will open in Google Chrome, which it does, as you can see here. And that's the particular PDF that we have open. Okay, so that is how to set the application that the Mac uses to open known file types. What we're going to look at next is how to change your default browser on the Mac. So at the moment, um, I think uh, Google Chrome is my default browser. Uh, but we'll just check that in a second and we'll uh, see what we've got. So what, what do we need to do to set this? So again, up to the Apple in the left hand corner, go down to where it says system preferences, click on system preferences. Um, or if you've got it available, click on it in the uh, bottom taskbar. Okay, so we're on the system preferences. Once you've got system preferences open, go to where it says general, click on general, and then you can see default web browser is currently set to Google Chrome. If I want to be using Safari, I will tell it Safari, and then I simply click out. So, that, so that is it. So every time now I try to maybe open a link in, a, in an email um, to a website, it will open in Safari as default. It will open anything in Safari. Um, if we want to change it back, again, in system preferences, into general, pick up the default web browser, find the one you want. There's no apply or save, and then just close back out. So that's how to set the default web browser on your Mac. Okay, so last but not least is how to change the default mail client. Uh, so obviously Mac comes with mail uh, built in, uh, but if you want to change it to maybe Thunderbird or a different email client, uh, then this is a way to set the default for that. So you start by opening your mail client up. Once you have that um, open, so you can see I'm in mail at the moment, go down to where it says preferences, click on preferences, and then in here you have um, some multiple different settings, uh, but the, what we want to see is the default email reader at the top. So in here, if you have already installed, say Thunderbird, it will list them in here and you can select, uh, click on the select and it'll give you a list of the different programs that uh, you can use um, for your mail client. But it's as simple as that, you just pick up the, the one you wanna use and then click on select and then that will change the uh, default email re reader or client on your Mac. Okay, so that's it. That's how to change the default programs that the Mac uses to open known file types, how to set your default web browser, and also how to change your default mail client, all in the Mac OS. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up. Any comments below are always appreciated. Please do, if you subscribe, hit the bell icon uh, to be alerted to any new videos I do. And thanks again for watching The Computer Lab.